thanks for watching and let's play a fun little game called which two implies the third. In other words, if two numbers add to one and the reciprocals add to one, is the third thing true? Well, let's find out. Round one. The sum is one, sum of reciprocals is one, what is the sum of squares? And instead of calculating that, let's use the sophomore's dream and let's calculate a plus b squared. Then a plus b is one, so a plus b squared is one, squared, which is one. On the other hand, on the other hand let's expand that out. So we get a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Now, the second line tells us something interesting because we can put on a common denominator and we get b plus a over ab equals 1, but b plus a is 1. So cross multiplying, we ultimately get that ab is 1, which in turn we can plug into this equation to get 1 is a squared plus b squared plus 2. And so solving for a squared plus b squared, this gives you 1 minus 2, which is minus 1. So no, it is not 1. It is minus 1. And more interestingly, it tells us that solutions to those equations cannot be real because the sum of squares of two real numbers has to be non-negative. And in fact, you can work out those equations and you should get something like a is 1 plus minus square root of 3i over 2 and b is the same thing but minus plus square root of 3i over 2. Basically e i pi over 3 and e minus i pi over 3. All right, so we lost this round. Let's see what happens in the next round. Second round, which I think is by far the most interesting one. Suppose the sum of squares is one, the sum of the reciprocals is one. What is the sum of those two numbers? And just as before, how about we consider a plus b squared instead? So let's do a plus b squared instead. And on the one hand, using the second line, just as before, we get a plus b equals ab. So a plus b squared, that is a squared b squared. On the other hand, expanding this out, we get a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Now a squared plus b squared, that is 1, so we get 1 plus 2ab. And putting everything on the left hand side, whoosh, we get a squared b squared minus 2ab minus 1 equals 0. Now, this is really cool because this is a quadratic equation in b. And in particular, we can apply the quadratic formula to solve for b because b is just minus minus 2a. So 2a plus minus square root of minus 2a squared, so 4a squared, minus 4a squared times minus 1, so plus 4a squared over 2a squared. And this we can simplify a little bit. So this 4a squared plus 4a squared, this becomes 8a squared. But square root of 8 is 2 square root of 2. So it's 2a plus minus 2 square root of 2. Square root of a squared, technically absolute value of a, but because we have plus minus, it does not matter. And then over 2a squared, and that just becomes 1 over a. Uh, plus minus square root of 2 over a. Now this is b, and remember what the question was? The question was, what is a plus b? 
what we found a plus b that is a b and this is a times 1 over a plus minus square root of 2 over a so the a's cancel out and we end up getting 1 plus minus square root of 2 darn it again it's not 1 we have 1 plus minus square root of 2 maybe the next one will save us well, let's see. So here, last round, the sum is 1, the sum of squares is 1. What about the sum of reciprocals? Well, just as before, we can put it on a common denominator. So a plus b over b a, or a b, and then a plus b is 1. So this is just 1 over a b. So all we need to calculate is pretty much a b but now I can square this side so on the one hand a plus b squared that is 1 squared which is 1 but it's also a squared plus 2ab plus b squared but a squared plus b squared is 1 so we get 1 plus 2ab then the ones cancel out and we end up getting 2ab is 0, so ab is 0. Which is a little bit of a problem because 1 over ab becomes 1 over 0. So which here again is very ill-defined. So in this case 1 over a plus 1 over b doesn't even exist and it's certainly not 1. I know, very sad, but let me give you a cute geometric interpretation of this. So a squared plus b squared is 1 that's a circle, a plus b is 1 that is a line with x and y intercept 1. So in fact, in this case, the solutions are just 1, 0, and 0, 1, which of course the sum of reciprocals here doesn't exist. All right, so we had three rounds. We lost them all, and you lost the game. But I still hope you had a lot of fun. All right, if you like this and want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.